Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you the Microsoft Windows 11 Copilot. So this is the pre-release version, so it's uh, in preview mode. But if you have the latest Windows updates, uh, you should have it down here as well. So what this does is just another uh, way to do some AI interactions to ask questions and have it do things for you on your computer. So it's a little different than the Bing chat GPT that you do online or even from the uh, search box here. So we're going to click on the icon to open it up and it has some suggestions here. So you could do more creative, more balanced, or more precise. And then it gives you some examples here. And then you could just type in what you want it to uh, search for. You can add an image and have it search on that. And if you have a microphone, you could uh, just speak right into it. So for example, let's do uh, the microphone here since I'm using a microphone for this video, so I don't have to type it. Turn on dark mode. And then you can have it turn on dark mode right from there. And do the same thing if you type it. And one thing you'll have to make a note of is if it's going to keep responding here, you have to click on stop responding before you can go on to the next one. Okay, turn it off. And we can also do things like open Microsoft Word. But see, we have to click stop responding first. Open Microsoft Word. Click on yes. One thing I don't like is it just keeps going after you say yes, open Word for me. It just wants to keep on continuing, which is kind of annoying. And it's a little bit slow, but hopefully it'll get a little quicker uh, when they finalize it here. So you can see it opened Word. We could also do things like open my documents. But this, it only opened File Explorer. It didn't go right to the uh, documents, which just went to the default File Explorer home section here. And of course, you could just ask it more, you know, general stuff that's not necessarily related to tasks on your computer, such as show me a picture of an Australian Shepherd. Searching for picture of an Australian Shepherd. And you notice sometimes if you're using the microphone, it'll do a little readout for you. So you can see there it gives you some link suggestions here rather than just showing you a picture. And if you want to start over, you could go to the uh, refresh option here and pick a different uh, style. Let's say more precise. Let's try the same thing. Show me a picture of an Australian Shepherd. Searching for Australian Shepherd. Searching for Australian Shepherd images. I'll try to create that. And now you see this time it actually gave us some images rather than some links. And of course you could like or dislike it or copy information from your results or click on something to be taken to that page in that picture. Okay, let's refresh again, go back to the main screen. So the refresh just kind of clears your uh, latest activity there. So now let's try something a little different here. Create a picture of a dog riding a bike while wearing a top hat. I'll try to create that. You can see it's generating image up here. And there you go. There's your results. And you could click on one. 
So it just uses their image creator that you could do from their website. And you could right click on it, save the link, copy the link, open image, new tab. We could even save the image. Let's say desktop. Like that. Then you have this button here, you just click on new topic, which will kind of take you back to the same thing as doing the refresh up here. All right, now that I see this, let's see if we can make it play this song here. Open the file called song.mp3 on the desktop. Maybe not the way I said it there. We'll see what happens. Nope, couldn't quite do that. Let's try wording it differently. Open the file called song on the desktop. Okay, so that didn't work too well. Uh, one thing we can do is change my desktop background. So you can see it opens up the settings there. So that worked. It tells you it tried to open the background settings for you so you could change it. All right, so that's kind of a general overview of how it works. So like I said, you could go, you know, pick your style here and then either type in your search or if you have a microphone, you could speak into it and then you can see how it works for you. So like I said, this is just in preview mode. So hopefully by the time it's finalized, it'll be working a lot faster and a lot more uh, accurately. So you could try it out for yourself and see how you like it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.